Hey, I'm Kalash and I make cool stuff. So I have this little plastic bathtub that is perfect for what I want to make, but I don't have anything to really paint it with, so I'm gonna make my own. I'll roll out some polymer clay and use the bathtub kind of as a mold. And then I baked it for a few minutes and always be really careful if you're putting plastic in the oven, just do your research beforehand. It got a bit stuck to the plastic, but after getting it out, I fixed it up and then added the little rim around the edge. And also the four little legs that hold the bathtub. The one using the bathtub is going to be a mermaid. I will start by making an armature out of some wire. I will also add some foil to the tail part just to make it a bit thicker. Using the same clay I will make a rough body shape and then later go back and fix it up. I'm not very good at making human body shapes, so it works out perfectly for me that she doesn't have any legs. Mermaids are usually depicted as these really beautiful women, so I thought I would go for something a bit more horrific and more realistic in my opinion. I'll start with a somewhat normal looking face shape and then try my best to make it as ugly as possible. I added in some pre-baked eyeballs because it's much easier to sculpt the eyes this way. And then added a little bit of clay around them to create the eyelids. I added a bit of sculpty bacon bond to the mouth and then added pre-baked teeth. Unbaked clay and already baked one don't really have a great connection, so the bacon bond just helps hold them together better. I also want to give her some horns, so I will wrap a bit of wire in clay just so they hold shape better. and then add a few details before attaching them to her head. I had a few leftover teeth, so I just added them to the top of her head. And then I added a bit of texture to her face by poking it. I also didn't want to go for like a normal looking hair, so instead I'm adding these little strips. Then I decided I want to add her claws and then go back to detailing her face. I'm kind of jumping around a lot, working on different parts of the body at the same time. I don't know why I do this, but I do. The tail of a mermaid is usually scaly, but I actually wanted to leave it smooth. But I thought it would still be necessary to add scales somewhere, so I'm going to make her like a breastplate out of scales. And then also rough up her skin a bit because it's looking too smooth compared to her face. I didn't like the way her hands looked, so I added some long nails instead. And a few pointy pieces here and there. These also have wire in them to make them less fragile. And then I added a few shapes and details on the tail so it's less plain looking. I'm going to be baking her inside the bathtub so the shape fits. This also lets me position the hair the way I want it to be. Then before baking, I'm gonna go over everything with isopropyl alcohol. After that has baked once, I'm gonna add a few more missing details and then bake it again. I could have added these before, but I just find it much easier to do this way. The 
the painting process is a bit of a mess because I couldn't decide what colors I want to use. I finally settled on the dark blue for the tail. Then I went over it with different shades of greenish blue to make it more interesting. And also lighter green highlights. I painted all the fin parts in a lighter blue and then with a white highlight. I finally decided that the body will also be blue, so I painted it in a lighter tone and then blended it together with the tail. I added a few dots of the same light blue to make it blend better. I later also added a few dots here and there on the tail, but I didn't film that. The hair is painted white and then in a very dark red blood kind of color. The red looks a bit out of place right now, so to help it blend in better, I'm also gonna cover the horns in red. And then I also added a bit of red on her face, her claws, and her breastplate to tie it all together. Her eyeballs got painted blue, and then I went over them with a bit of UV resin. I also painted her teeth a bit of a yellow tone, but I forgot to film that. I'm going to skip over how I painted the bathtub in 10 different layers of white paint and go straight to washes. I'm using different tones of washes to make the bathtub as dirty as possible. Since I'm going for a more horror kind of style, I thought it would be fitting to make the bathtub really nasty and dirty. When that was done, I mixed up some epoxy resin for the water, but this is also going to be dirty. I'm trying out a new deep pour resin, it doesn't create any bubbles, and I'm really liking it so far, but it takes forever to dry. Like it needs a week at least to fully cure. I wanted a bit more liquid, so I mixed up some more resin, and that's it. As always, thank you so much to my patrons for their support, and thanks for watching. I'll see you next time, bye!